I'm here with Kevin Frazier from Entertainment Tonight, and we were just talking about the issues with hip hop. Yeah, and you know, 50s here in TI, it's interesting talking to them in the back, where, you know, they say that people get confused with their their art, their, their character as their artist and not their real personality. But I say I do challenge all the folks in hip hop to be smarter. There are lots of issues out there to confront and talk about and to rap about that are going on in the black community besides just women and fighting and being mad. There are a lot of issues in this world. And I mean, it's one of the reasons why I love Lupe Biasco CD because I think that he touched on issues that were just so mind boggling smart and the kind of things that we're thinking about in the world today. So that's why I just challenge everyone out there to really think it through and look at the issues that are here in confronting America. And it doesn't have to just be about who's got the biggest butt and who's got the baddest body. It can also be about what's going on in this country with the president, the war. Poverty, education, that. You know, also, um, I was going to ask you, you know, do you think that's what the people want, though? You know, because when they look at music videos and, you know, they don't want to see about the war. They don't want to see, you know, they want to see ass titties. No, I hear, you know, I hear what you're saying, and I think people want to see what you give them and feed them and nourish them, especially younger kids. We're talking about teenagers and, and then just adolescents who are really soaking up all the knowledge that they're learning from what they see on TV. And if what you see on TV is, as you mentioned, and this is everything else, then that's what your perception of reality is. And as we know, being here in Hollywood, Perception is not reality. It's very, very different, and everything is very, very different. So I think that if we give those kids something to really think about, and also we help them along. I mean, if you go way back in the day to KRS One, you know that's how I learned a lot of stuff. Like you must learn about the Caucasus Mountains and Caucasian people and how you know the races were classified. I learned it from a rap song. So it's not like. Rap can't teach, and you can't learn from rap. You see, I, you know, I never grew up with a racist, you know, background. Um, myself, I'm Sri Lankan, so you know, being coming out here, you know, they mistake me for, you know, black. You know, and now I understand what you know. <laughs> you understand racism, right? Um, and but, and I agree with you. I mean. This is a, I mean, we understand we live in a racist society, right. but also at the same time, we must do things to help uh, kind of kill those myths. And when you, our videos are about women and degradating those women and fighting each other about who's the man, everybody's the man. We really need to all work together to become the men and raise a bunch of men, not worry about who's the man. We're, there, there's so many things we need to do just to take care of ourselves and our own and our own people. And also, if you look at the thing, the way things are going on in this world, I have no beef with people in different countries and different places. And I don't have a problem with them. And I don't think they have a problem with me. Somebody else does. So let's just keep that in mind too when we formulate our policies and the things we think about.